Nebraska on my way to Laurel. Stopped in and filled up in a British Petroleum or BP station. They had non-ethanol premium, so filled her up. Talked to the gal at the cash register. She said, yes, this is some smoke from Canada. They've had it for several days. The local folks are being told in a couple days it should be gone. So the wind, winds will shift or something. So this is just really amazing. I don't think I've ever seen it anything like this in Nebraska uh, before. Uh, it's probably happened and I just haven't seen it. But. Now my curiosity has peaked. I'm going to have to uh, get on the internet research these Canadian fires. They must just, I mean, they've been burning for weeks. They've been putting smoke out for weeks. So I don't know. Is this timber that's burning? Is it grasslands that's burning? Uh, how big an area has been consumed by fire at this point? I've heard that Canada does, does not have anywhere close to the firefighting capabilities that the United States has. And we know that ours can get stretched during the fire season out west. to Verdigree from Hardington if it goes all the way west or is it just cutting this corner of the state? Which way is the wind blowing? quality warnings in Lincoln for about a week um, but I had no idea that it was it's not this bad anywhere anywhere close to being this bad around Lincoln and you know last Sunday I went out into the to the uh, sand hills and saw none of it so I wonder what the swath of oh gosh <laughs> what the path is.
sports teams. My junior year, they had a senior athlete, Steve Irwin. He went on to play basketball pretty competitively at the University of Nebraska. Assigned to guard him the second half because he was eating this up in the first half. Uh, <laughs> I think he ate me up the second half, but we won the game. They made a one and one at the end of the game to win the game for us. Uh, one of one of the memories. But he was a really good ball player, far, far better than, than I, for sure. He had four or five inches on me, and he was just a better, better skills. them again and they had a senior who was a really good athlete named George Schrader. He had been hurt in football his junior year so he didn't play against us that year where Steve Irwin um, was so so good. I missed the pop. No, here's the pop. Yeah, here it is. Laurel, Nebraska. 972 souls strong the last time they ordered a population rose. And he was a really good ball player, but we beat him again. One and one towards the end of the, end of the game. They had really good sports teams. they are consolidated school three small towns Coleridge and Concord and Laurel I believe are the three towns that have consolidated their school systems later.